Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to guide you through the process of creating a server that works for both UDP Custom and Slow DNS on HTTP Custom VPN. Make sure to follow each step carefully. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more detailed tutorials. Also, check out our blog for in-depth guides. Let's get started. First, open any web browser such as Chrome or Firefox and visit the VPN Jet website. This site provides various VPN services and servers that we'll be using to create our server. Once you're on the VPN Jet homepage, locate the menu icon at the top right corner of the page and click on it. This will open a drop-down menu with several options. From the drop-down menu, click on the free VPN label. This will expand a submenu displaying different types of servers. From this submenu, select SSH Stunnel to proceed. After selecting SSH Stunnel, you will be redirected to a new page where you need to choose a location for your server. Select any location that suits your needs from the available options. With the location selected, you now need to choose a specific server within that location. Click on the Create Account button next to your desired server. This will take you to the account creation page. On the account creation page, you will need to enter a username and password. Complete the CAPTCHA verification and then click on the Create Account button to finalize the creation of your server. Within a few seconds, your server will be created. We will use the details of this server for both UDP Custom and Slow DNS configurations in HTTP Custom VPN. Next, open the Google Play Store and download the HTTP Custom VPN app. Once the download is complete, launch the app. You should now be on the home screen of the app. Let's first set up the UDP settings, check the box labeled UDP to enable it. Then input the UDP server details such as the IP address, port, username, and password into the respective fields. These details are obtained from the server you just created. If you want to use slow DNS, check the slow DNS box. You can either enter the SSH server details directly or modify the existing UDP server details by changing the port to 80 or 443. Next, tap on the plugin icon at the top right corner and select slow DNS settings from the list. In the slow DNS settings, enter the DNS server name, server, and public key. Once you have filled in these details, click on the Save button to return to the home screen. Finally, once you have selected your desired protocol, click on the Connect button to start the VPN connection. That's it! You've successfully set up a server that works for both UDP Custom and Slow DNS on HTTP Custom VPN. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such tutorials. Also, don't forget to check out our blog for more in-depth guides. Thank you for watching.